Youngstown's historic Idora neighborhood is going through a transformation. Part of the city tainted by empty lots and blighted homes is being turned into something gorgeous and green. Jerry Ricciuti joins us live in the studio with more. Jerry? Nikki, for the last couple of weeks, abandoned houses and lots that could well have been used for criminal activity were taking on a whole new look. For years, this is how parts of Youngstown's Idora neighborhood looked. Dilapidated vacant houses and empty lots. This is how it looks now, thanks to a project called Lots of Green that's been in the planning stages for almost two years now. Our organization was launched in October that we can really start the, the actual hard physical improvement in earnest. The effort is being led by the Youngstown Neighborhood Development Corporation. It covers a 17 block area and includes deconstruction and recycling of vacant homes and development of green spaces for the Mill Creek Metro Parks as well as a number of community gardens. Everything from planting of you know, gardens, food, vegetables, to uh, fruits, various types of fruits, various types of native plantings. It also means job opportunities for some local teenagers who get the chance to work part-time helping maintain the area. We turn it into something better than what it was. Instead of it being having no use at all, we just turn it into something better that the whole community could benefit from. And as this transformation literally blossoms, neighborhood pride begins growing as well. And other people I notice now are taking better care of their yards and so forth like that, you know, so it's like a domino effect. Everybody's trying to do better. The project is being funded by a combination of federal grants and local foundation money, and while organizers hope the idea can spread to other sides of town, it may already be one of the largest of its kind in the country. The other, other places have done this in a more scattershot, scattered site kind of formation. We're doing it in a targeted, strategically targeted investment. While there will be four of the community gardens, the one like the one you just saw included in this project, another two acre plot is being turned into what's called an urban farm where a fruit orchard and vegetable crops could be sold to the public it will also be used by students from both Ohio State and YSU for research. Nikki? All right. Jerry Ricciuti, thanks so much for that report tonight.